Okay, final, final store of today. And today is, um, I think it's the 14th, yeah, December 14th. And I did, like I said, in video number one, I'm gonna put upload these in three different parts. Video number one uh, was Sam's Club. Video number two was the Dollar Tree. And video number three, out here in California, we have a store called the Grocery Outlet. I love the Grocery Outlet for most of my vegan products because I get it there dirt cheap. So I'm going to be showing you what I got at the Grocery Outlet store. That total bill was $139. And this is what we have. This side over here is mainly Paulette section. Um, so a lot of the stuff that you see, this is a, a two party household. So it's for the entire house. Uh, so we got the tortilla chip strips. She loved those taste bake shop cookies. Although we bake our own food. We don't, we, we, we don't bake our own. We have a bakery business. We don't pretty much bake for the house. Um, so just quick grab and go. She liked those. She got the pork sausage patties. Me, yeah, this is my cheat. I get the dark chocolate moose munch, Harry and David. We all know that box at Harry and David is $15.99. At the grocery outlet, I get it for $3.99. Yeah, big difference. Luckily, we live in Vacaville, California, where the Vacaville outlet's at. Harry and David is here, so I guess they overstock goes over to the grocery outlet. Lucky woman, yes I am. Then she has the four chicken pot pies by Marie Callender's. That's her quick meal. Oh, she had to pick up two Cokes. I do not like Coke, but those of you who do. And um, the Belgian waffles. Two avocados. Uh, this is a blood orange lemonade. I love the bottle. I think that's the only reason she bought it was for the bottle. And her um, Red Baron pizza. So I, I do not stock up on stuff like that. That's why it's only one. I don't care what that to me, this type of stuff is not stuff that I um, keep in the house. So if a pandemic happened and we ain't got no cookies, Marie Callender pies in there, I don't care. I don't. I'd rather have uh, foods that's worth something, that's healthy and, and better nutrition for the body. I do stock up, though, on frozen vegetables and things like that, and you'll see as we move along. So, I have my Gardena Vegan Meatless Meatballs. Love those. I do those over cauliflower rice, over, um, oh, over uh, um, pasta, but the bean pasta, I'm trying to think of it. Um, anyway, the one that you make the tuna fish with, the garbanzo bean pasta, uh, pa uh, uh, pasta noodles, bean noodles. Oh my God, they're so good. I put that over that spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, crispy mandarin chicken. I love that. Um, and the whole serving of, of that is only 300. And um, that's 270. That's 340 for the whole bag. I never eat the whole bag. I eat the whole bag of the chicken, but never the whole bag of the uh, meatballs. I always have those, make those three meals. And um, then we have the broccoli. I love buying my frozen vegetables at the grocery outlet because you get the organic and it'd be so pretty and dark green. Oh my God, just, just beautiful vegetables. And then we have the bag of corn. I love their cauliflower rice. Now, how much is it? The broccoli, $3.99 for some organic uh, broccoli. Cauliflower rice, $3.99 for that big old bag. Three Primal Kitchen organic, unsweetened, good for keto, paleo, whatever. Uh, sugar free, no water, no, I mean, no milk, no dairy involved. This ketchup is great. You get three for only $8.99. I got my oat milk. This is good to January 2021. So I won't be opening this up um, by January 8th. It'll be open in 
done up by then. January 2021. No, it won't. I'm just going to leave that in the refrigerator because I got other milk. But I think it's great. It's good for a whole year. <sighs> Impossible. I haven't tried it. Paulette picked some of these up the other day. I have not tried them, but I've been watching people on TV talking about how great they are, the Impossible Burger and the Impossible Ground Meat. Well, I have some Impossible Ground Meat in the refrigerator, which we all know this is all vegan. This is not real meat. These, this is very expensive. However, at the grocery outlet, you get two for $5. So you get four patties for $5. Two packs. Can't beat that. And then we have light life. I do like light life meats because whatever I season, put whatever season I put in that meat, it, that's what it tastes like. Grocery outlet, $3.99. You can't beat that. Now, you see all these Beyond Sausage. I'm telling you guys, you want some good chili? Homemade chili? If you're a vegan out there, take this Beyond Sausage, cut it up, and put it in a pot of beans, pinto beans or kidney beans, and make you a pot of chili. It's going down. It is so good. We all know the Beyond Sausages run you anywhere from, depending on what store, $7.89 to $10 a pack. Grocery outlet, $3.99. I said it, $3.99. So I got five of them. Now, I've never had the Gardena Ultimate Burger. These were $10 for that whole pack for six patties, uh, plant-based patties. So I also purchased that. So that's it. That's the $138 uh, grocery haul. I hope you all like and subscribe to my channel. Please share my videos. This is the end of my pantry storage haul for my prepping, my prepper's pantry, as people say, never heard of that, but my prepper's pantry, in case anything happened, I'm always stocked up. So this was the last of three videos shopping one day total shopping six hundred and thirty nine dollars talk to you later